Hey everyone, welcome back to Jay Get It. I'm Jay and today we're diving into a super important topic, malware. What is it? How does it work? And most importantly, how can you protect yourself from malicious attacks? Let's get into it. First things first, what is malware? Malware is a short malicious software and it's designed to harm or exploit any programmable device, service, or network. It can steal, encrypt, or delete your data, hijack your computer's core functions, or spy on your activity without your knowledge. There are many types of malware, including viruses, worms, trojans, ransomware, spyware, and adware. Each type works differently, but they still have the same goal, causing trouble. So how does malware spread? It can get into your device through phishing emails, malicious websites, infected software downloads, or even USB drives. Once it's in, it can do all sorts of damage. That's why it's crucial to be aware of how malware can sneak into your system. Now let's talk about how to protect yourself from these nasty attacks. Here are some essential tips to keep your device safe. Number one, keep your software updated. Software updates often include security patches that protect your device from the latest threats. Enable automatic updates to make sure you're always protected. Updating your software is like giving your computer a shield against malware. Number two, use antivirus and anti-malware software. These programs can detect and remove malware before it causes damage. Make sure you're using reputable software and keep it updated. Think of it as having a security guard for your computer. Number three, be cautious with email attachments and links. Don't open attachments or click on links from unknown or suspicious sources. Phishing attacks are one of the most common ways malware spreads. If something seems off, trust your instincts and don't click. Number four, use strong passwords and enable two-factor authentication or 2FA. Strong passwords make it harder for attackers to gain access to your accounts and two-factor authentication adds an extra layer of security. Security experts say, the longer and more complex the password, the better. And with two-factor authentication, even if someone gets your password, they still need a second form of verification. Number five, back up your data regularly. In case malware does get through, having backups mean you won't lose your important files. Use cloud storage or an external hard drive to keep your backups safe. Regular backups are your safety net in case of malware attack. Number six, Avoid using public Wi-Fi for sensitive transactions. Public Wi-Fi networks can be a hotbed for cyber attacks. If you need to access sensitive information, use a VPN or wait until you're on a secure network. A VPN encrypts your data, making it much harder for attackers to intercept. So there you have it. By keeping your software updated, using antivirus software, being cautious with emails, using strong passwords and two-factor authentication, backing up your data, and avoiding public Wi-Fi for sensitive transactions, you can protect yourself from malware and malicious attacks. Have you ever dealt with malware? What tips do you have for staying safe online? Share your experiences and advice in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. We got more great content coming your way. Thanks for watching. And remember, staying informed and taking precautions can keep your devices and data safe. See you in the next episode of Jay Get It. The only people who get it are the people who get it. Goodbye.